happy Saturday. I am so excited for the weekend. I swear it felt like the longest week at work ever. It was the second week of January, which I feel like people are still kind of like getting back into office, like getting back into swing of things the first week. And then I just feel like this week it was like hitting the ground running and um, it was just really busy. So I'm very excited for a cozy little weekend and it's a three day weekend because we have MLK day off. So it is supposed to get really, really cold here in Nashville, like down to seven degrees, which mm, for Nashville, that is very, very cold. So it is definitely gonna be like a mental, physical reset, cozy, wintry, homebody vibes. Normally when I start these videos, I've already had coffee, but we're gonna do something wild today, something crazy. I'm gonna make my own creamer. I don't know. I don't know what's gotten into me because normally, let me get it. Normally I'm like content on this Shivani sweet cream guy. Like I use this, my ride or die, I use it all the time. But this week I was like, I don't know, I'm kind of getting tired of it. Oh, I never thought I'd say that. Um, and I'm craving like a brown sugar, like, I don't know, just like a different flavor. And so I'm gonna make my own. I found a little recipe online. It looks easy <coughs> enough. I also got the cutest pint milk jug. So I'm gonna put it in here and we're gonna make a coffee creamer together. It's gonna be a brown sugar cinnamon creamer. We'll see how it goes. And worse comes worse, I have some more of this, but I'm not feeling it. So I really hope this works out. Let's get to it because I need some caffeine. Okay, I'm using this one from Fed Fit. Easy enough, let's do it. Okay, here goes nothing. Two cups of half and half, half a cup of brown sugar, Oh my God, I feel like it's gonna splash. <laughs> Tablespoon of vanilla. Teaspoon cinnamon. Give her a whirl. It says I'm supposed to simmer it on the stove. Do you think that's an important step? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, okay. I was really hoping I could just oh, like. <laughs> I was hoping I could just like mix and just like be done, but it does say, the recipe does say to simmer it on the stove. So I think I'm gonna do that, even though I don't want to, because I'm impatient. But I'm guessing that helps like break down like the granulated brown sugar. So it's like smoother. I don't really know. I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. Also, why am I like this? Like why do I literally have a recipe up and it tells me to do something and I'm like, eh. <laughs> do I need to do that? Like, obviously it wouldn't be in the recipe if you didn't need to do that. I should have made this last night now that I think about it because now I have to wait till this is done to make coffee. All right, let it simmer. Bring mixture to simmer, then turn off heat. So I just like let it bubble once, twice. Help. Here's the thing though. How do we get this into this? <laughs> I feel like, Okay, wait, okay, so there is like a little lip on the side, but oh my God, this is gonna be so, I think I need to do this over the sink. <laughs> you guys like how I was like, this is gonna be a relaxing, chill little vlog and it's like absolutely not relaxing. It's so chaotic, I'm sweating. Woo! I thought that this <laughs> jug, I was like, oh my God, is this jug gonna be big enough? You guys. <laughs> It is so, it is so big. Oh my God. All right, let's get this party going here. All right, here goes nothing. Oh my God, that is so good. Ah, oh, that is so good. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more. Simmering it really like helped. I have to like pull all the flavors together. Let me froth this. Okay, cheers. Good morning, happy weekend. Here goes nothing. Oh, Bristol's getting a squeaky toy. Perfect timing. That's exactly what I wanted. It's literally exactly what I wanted. It's so subtle, but the flavors are so just like bold. I'm sure because there's not a ton of like artificial sugar. I'm so happy. This worked. 
I'm still dead though that I was like, is this, is this jar gonna be big enough? I think we're good. <laughs> She's going in there. I also think it would be so good with a cold brew. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try that duo later. I'm so happy right now. We've got a Mr. Potato Head. You've got him. You can't go under the table anymore. It's cheating. <laughs> it's cheating. Wow, it has been a journey this morning. Now that I'm sweating, under caffeinated and dehydrated, let's do some self care. I got these new eye masks from Dermatology. I used them once, but I think I put them on on the wrong side, which I didn't really know there was a wrong side, but they kept. It's okay, it's just Amazon. It's just Amazon guy. Um, they kept slipping down. So I'm gonna try them the other way. I think this is the way you're supposed to do it. Cause when I did this pointy part in here, it was like down here. <laughs> like it would not stay up. So yeah, I feel like that's gonna stay. Also it has like a little scooper, which is really nice. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my God. Ah. Awaken and refresh. That's what I need. Lesson learned that if I want to go Betty Crocker and make my own creamer, I'm gonna need to do it the night before. Because having a delay, like coffee is what gets me up in the morning and having a delay is just simply not, it's not good for anyone. I just need to get down here, brew the coffee, drink the coffee. I can't be getting pots out, that's crazy. I posted on my Instagram, like just like a photo of this. And I was like, does anyone actually know how to use this or are we all just kind of winging it? And the sweetest person sent me like an actual gua sha tutorial, which like I could have like looked that up. Like I know that there is a correct way to do it, but I was just being silly. Um, because honestly you guys, I just wing it. And like, I don't know like what the different sides should be used for, but I really only use this for like my jawline. Um, but she sent me a tutorial and I watched it last night and I was like, oh my God, that looks like really relaxing. But the girl had like a ton of oil on her face and I don't have like a good face oil. So I feel like I need to get that because it helps the gua sha like slide correctly. When she was doing her jawline, she like came here and then went like over her ear and then down her neck, which that feels really good. But also I would have never thought to do that. Like this feels so good. And then she used this side to just like scoop the cheek area up on both sides. And then she did like a ton of stuff with her eyebrows, but I have to go back and watch it. But I'm gonna do just this piece <laughs> for right now. Cause that's all I can remember. Okay, we're turning this morning into more of a relaxing self care morning. We are gonna go to Barry's this morning, but not till 11.30. So we do have like a couple more hours. Honestly, what time is it? Because I feel like the making of this creamer just like took years off my life. This feels really good. Like coming down on the side of your neck. Anyway, I thought it was so nice that that girl like took my story and like actually sent me a helpful little tutorial. That was very, very sweet. Okay, it's 9.30. I still have plenty of time to have myself a slow morning. However, I did <laughs> just hear Chandler scream the F word. He's playing a video game with his brother. So that energy is not conducive to my slow, relaxing Sunday or Saturday morning, but we're gonna let it slide. One of my favorite YouTubers, her name is Carter Sullivan. She's like more of a recent find for me, but she has the best like slow, peaceful, like romanticize the mundane sort of videos. And so I feel like that's a good one to kickstart the weekend. $10,000 Canadian budget with the elopement and the wedding. We're gonna get a photographer Workout done. We have a special guest. How was it, babe? It was hard. <laughs> Everything hurts. The coach, the coach called me out. Oh, oh, you're sliding. The coach called me out and said I was outworking Chandler. <laughs> also, there was a lady in there, you guys. 
6,666 classes. 6,000 classes. For reference, babe, I've been doing it for six months and I've been to 48 classes. <laughs> She's been doing it for 23 years. She like, a like actually was like ripping berries in the womb. Like, I don't understand how you go to that many classes. How many is that a year? Like realistically, if you work out five times a week? It's three, 266 times. 266 for classes years. a year for 23 years. That's crazy. That's literally insane, but. It's like six days a week. Six days a week for 23 years though? Did you see what she looked like? Yeah, she's jacked. I was right next to her. She looked like a superhero. I was like, she was oh like my God. She's like 62. I know. I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna follow what you do, cause, whew. been dying to try these potato chive bake bites from Starbucks. I don't know if these are new or if this is just the first time I've ever noticed them, but oh my God, they look so good on the menu and they smell so good right now. Mm. Mm, mm. That is exactly what I wanted this to taste like. Oh my God, it's so good. Another kick that I've been on, which is kind of psychotic because it's literally 27 degrees, but here we are with an iced, <laughs> iced to drink the hazelnut oat milk shaken espresso. Has just been my thing. It's so good. All right. I think this is actually the first time I'm talking to the vlog. So hello. Good morning. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's 2 p.m. Um, we did have ourselves a morning though. Uh, it was a very productive, productive morning. I uploaded a YouTube video, did some cleaning as you guys saw. Um, yeah, I just like put on a podcast and that is like my favorite thing to do when I have to clean. Like I'm like, okay, let me put on an hour, an hour and a half long podcast and just like 
see what I can do in an hour and a half. And it was awesome. It was amazing. My favorite podcast ever is Crime Weekly. I'm a big true crime person, as I'm sure a lot of you are. I feel like everyone's a, a true crime person, even when you don't want to admit it. Like everyone's like a little bit intrigued. Um, but it's called Crime Weekly and it's hosted by Stephanie Harlow and Derek Lavasser. And if you're a Big Brother fan, Derek Lavasser won Big Brother like a couple of seasons ago. And then Stephanie Harlow is a really big, amazing uh, true crime YouTuber. So they're amazing. I love them. I think that they just, oh, they just kill it. So I listened to that podcast this morning and yeah, now I am actually off to run some errands. Um, it is supposed to be very, very cold tomorrow. Like the roads are supposed to freeze. I feel like it's hit or miss in Nashville. Like we do get pretty cold weather, but like not super often. So sometimes it does take the city a lot of time to just like, I don't know, like salt the roads and like make it safe for driving. And yeah, so we probably are just going to stay home tomorrow. So we need to like get groceries today. Also, I want to go to Target because Studio McGee dropped like a new line. I think Studio McGee and the Magnolia brand like dropped new, I don't think they're like spring stuff, but it's like new wintry spring like vibes. And I want to go look at, I for sure need to get a new wreath because I tossed our other one. It was just really old. And now that our Christmas stuff's put away, I need something to replace that. And then some just like random home decor pieces. I did do like some purging before we, um, decorated for Christmas. So now that all of our Christmas stuff's put away, there's like pieces of the house that are looking um, a little sparse. So yeah, I'm going to head to Target. Let's see what we can find. I'm kind of excited. They had some really, really good stuff online. So I hope that the store is stocked up. jackpot at Target today. I got a lot of good stuff. One of which is this like oversized plaid black shirt. I got a double XL because I wanted it to come all the way down past my butt. And I feel like it's so cute and good quality. And I think it was like 20 bucks. So she's so cute. We're about to go to dinner. I just paired it with, I'd like only button the top two, tucked this part in and then just like have this other side hanging. I know the lighting's like really hard to see. And then I did these Abercrombie, scoop this thing out of the way. This thing is so poorly placed. And then I just have these like wide leg Abercrombie pants. So we're doing an all black situation. Trailer just called up and said that it's snowing. So I'm going to go downstairs and see if we can see some snow. We are driving to dinner tonight, which I hope is not a mistake. I think we should be good. There's like a winter warning from like seven tonight to Tuesday and our reservation's at six. So we're gonna get dinner really quick, come back home and then have like a cozy little night. And I think we're gonna open a bottle of wine. We have done dry January up until this point, but we wanna just like celebrate the snow, celebrate the cozy long weekend. So we'll probably open a bottle of wine tonight, but that's kind of the plan. Mirror's still not clean. Even though every time I film in it, I say I'm gonna wipe it down. Um, okay, let's go see if there's snow, oh my God. <gasps> oh, we still there's some snow. Oh my goodness. Pay attention, please. <laughs> Stop.
a freaking perfect day. What a perfect day to have off work. It's Monday, but it feels like the slowest, most indulgent, amazing Sunday. It is just nonstop snowing in Nashville, which is honestly my dream. Um, being from Texas, I wanted to move somewhere that had all four seasons and Nashville has not disappointed. I feel like we have gotten snow like three out of the four years that I've lived here and I love it so much. Um, the only bad thing is that when it does snow, you're kind of like, you're kind of snowed in. The roads aren't the best. Also, I feel like people just don't really know how to drive in the snow here. So we tend to just be kind of homebound for however long until they get the roads together. We went on a walk earlier, which, oh my God, side note, Bristol in the snow is the cutest thing. Like I could actually cry thinking about it. She's just like so happy and uh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. Um, anyways, we will be stuck home for um, a lot of the week, I'm sure, which I'm not complaining because we tend to move fast over here. Like I feel like I always have something planned. I always have like the next thing going on and I love an excuse to like force myself to chill and just kind of like take in day by day, moment by moment. And I don't know, just like relish in the little things. Like we've had the best day today. I'm gonna go make myself a second cup of coffee. Um, trailer, I do need to do some wedding planning today. We need to look at the vendors that our wedding planner sent us for photography and for catering and just like send her some of our favorites and kind of narrow those down today. Um, potentially work on the website and just kind of, yeah, just do some of that stuff. But all in all, we're chilling today. I kind of want to go watch YouTube, make a coffee, just like set the vibes downstairs and have myself a cozy little afternoon. My skin looks so red in the natural sunlight, so just <laughs> bear with me, please. But I don't think I showed you guys what we got at Target. It was the best Target trip yesterday. And the best part was I used a gift card. So in girl math, basically that trip was free. Let's go. Um, I found this cute pillow, has these like, I don't know, ruffly edges. It was on clearance for $16. And this is gonna be for our couch. Our couch is like, has blankets and stuff all over it because we've been lounging all day, but I will style this in a little bit and show you guys. And then one thing I'm very excited about, this mirror. I have been eyeing this for a while, but didn't really have a place for it, but I actually found a place for it. So maybe we'll hang that today um oh it's so cute i love it i also got the wreath i think i showed you guys that yesterday and it's so beautiful it's like the most perfectly oversized wreath that's like what i went to target for was that specific wreath and it's from i don't know i will link it below i don't remember the brand but it is like so perfectly oversized and i honestly think i can keep that wreath year round and then change out the bow so like for christmas i can put a red bow on it and yeah i think it's just like the perfect uh, faux eucalyptus wreath it's gorgeous and the shirt i wore last night was from, also from target so um i feel like they have some really good oversized like sweaters that could be used as like a sweater dress they had like the best oversized plaid shirts target was kind of target was on one but yeah i just wanted to show you my little target haul because i had all this stuff in front of me but let's make a coffee and cozy up on the couch i think chandler's playing he's talking to his brother right now um they're planning his batch party so not sure how long he'll be but we're gonna have ourselves a little afternoon down here 